So we get questions a lot of times saying, are you NIST compliant? And what the, what the person is really asking, are you DFARS compliant utilizing the NIST standard? So the, the important differentiation here is understanding what a regulation is and what are, understanding what a set of a standard is and then controls that fall under that. So the regulation would be DFARS. That is the law that states you must do the things. Then underneath that says you must do the things and make sure you're following the standardization that all of the industry knows has adopted and follows. So everyone's basically reading from the same book. That standard is called NIST 800-171. It was designed um, by NIST um, for the, uh, by the government um, to specifically address data security concerns for Department of Defense um, contractors. Then you also have uh, controls. Controls are you know, one, 3.1.1, you must do this thing. You must make sure that you have screen timeouts after 15 minutes of inactivity. That's a very specific statement. And that control is all within NIST 800-171. So 800-171, which we refer to it, is the standard that needs to be followed in order to be uh, DFARS compliant.